Reckless for Euphoric TV, uh, continuing our CNJ coverage here in New York City, and we are in the Hot Beat Laboratory of French Horn Rebellion with my good friend Robert. Hello. Good morning, sir. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the Hot Beat Lab. The Hot Beat Lab. Yeah. There's times in your life when you look at the things around you and you realize that you're kind of an extreme person. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> this is definitely a physical representation of that. We got the Hot Beat Lab curtains. We got the sexy silk curtains here. Fake silk. <laughs> and uh, we got the French horn but on not the wall fake sexy. <laughs> with a lay and a guitar strap on the French horn, a, ro- a which rocker is, guitar strap. Which is pretty you. badass. Yeah, it's like yeah. studded. It's a studded guitar strap, <laughs> which uh, I've been trying that out of shows. Conceptually, it's a great idea, but I've learned that it's hard to dance when you have a guitar strapped horn. This all will be changed very soon. Because yeah, this horn is not my horn. Yeah, we were talking, you got a, a horn sponsorship I'm, now. Okay, believe it or not. This sounds crazy, but a lot of French horn players have heard about us because, well, we're one of the only bands that has a French horn as like a very featured, prominent instrument. I mean, it's in the damn name. It's in the name. Like, if you come to show, you see lots of French horn solos. You see lots of really loud French horn solos. And I think that for a lot of horn players, that's like some sort of like, that would be awesome. Like, when you think about it, like conceptually, they're like, I could be on a stage with lights and people dancing (laughs) and dance music. And I just play it as loud as I possibly can. Yeah. That sounds like a great time. So then people become interested, you know, because of that. I got a custom horn being built. Is it going to be like engraved or like, well, you have like sort of. mother of pearl inlays not or like something? I mean, how custom are we talking? We're talking that custom, but not with like, not fancy custom, like rock and roll custom. Okay. So the horn is going to be much smaller than this. It's going to be one, it's going to be one key. This, this horn has two keys on it, actually, uh-huh. a double horn. But I'm getting a single B-flat horn, high B-flat, because I only play high notes, obviously. <laughs> Super loud. Obviously. Yeah. And uh, it's going to have uh, car paint on it, actually. Shut up. What color? Uh, like uh, pink, white, and green. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you know, like really bright colors. And then the uh, whole horn is going to be dipped in, uh, like we're going to have um, like a, um, a pattern on the whole horn. The whole horn is going to be dipped in a pattern. And then the uh, back side is going to have a metal lightning bolt across the back. Oh my god, that's, yeah. just, that's like the <laughs> sickest horn I've it's ever It's the heard. sickest French horn ever. <laughs> it's easily the most punk rock French horn that has ever existed. Exactly, and I'm working with this guy named Katsushi in Germany on it. And he um, is an heir to um, the mo- one of the most famous horn companies in the world. <laughs> I'm serious, it's a real thing. So this dude is making this horn. And I'm on the emails and I'm talking to him, I'm like, no, Katsushi, man, you don't understand. <laughs> we need the lightning ball to cross back. <laughs> it's crucial. It's crucial. <laughs> He's like, well, maybe we could do this, maybe we could do that. Uh, you know, I have these lacquer colors. I'm like, dude, those lacquer colors are not pink. <laughs> it's not, it's, yeah, it's not like highlight or color, pink or white or green or whatever. <laughs> wait, when do you get this horn? I can't wait to see this it's thing. It's coming, you know, we're working on it. We're going on a big tour next spring, which you can't talk about, but well, that, the horn will be ready for that. I won't talk directly about it, but I did want to talk about the live show because y- your live show is just so damn good. I mean, it's like, it's more than just like seeing a band, it's being entertained. It's like a whole well, yeah. performance, like on a, <laughs> like a deeper level than just people throw that word around. So how, how do you manage to, or, or is it your goal to get that across in a recording? Like that kind of like energy and like totally. party environment. Well, I think um, I think it comes back to being in an orchestra, a classical setting. There's just the music, and I think a lot of indie bands are, are, have this mentality too. Like I'm standing up in front of people, I'm playing music, great. Like I want to make sure I play the right notes. I want to make sure that I'm singing in tune correctly. Like for us, it's it's not so much about that, but the energy and the performance, and it's about the 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 intention behind the music, right? Yeah. So the intention is to say. Hey guys, you don't have to play trumpet perfectly or like bassoon or like whatever it is in your life. Like, you know, like you don't have to nail that job interview. You just gotta be yourself, you know? Like, don't worry about like being perfect. You know, it can be crazy, it can be wild, it can be, and you can still have fun and succeed. <laughs> 